you have any questions? No, I would just like to say to Your Honor that I am uh, not suicidal. That's what I would like to say. Okay. I am not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. Right. Right. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you, and I respect the jury, but I did not do this and I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. I respect you, Your Honor. I respect your decision. Jail time, I am not suicidal. Okay. Mr. Luce, let me inquire. Are there any post sense and motions you care to present right now? Yes, Judge. For present. The defense would wish to present a motion to reconsider sentence and file it in Stanter. Right, uh, it, is, it is kindly filed. Thank you, Judge. And, and let me say, I've obviously considered the sentence at great length. Uh, and and it, it's kindly filed, so it's preserved for purposes of appeal. Motion to reconsider sentences, respectfully denied. Is there another? Well, one second, thank you. Anything else? Just a second, just a second. Is there going to be a notice of appeal about? It? Yes, Judge. Yes. Uh, we, we, we're filing a notice of appeal. We're going to be emailing to the court right now. To the office. You doing it in standard? And are, in you standard. To, are you going to be handling the appeal? Uh, judge, as of now, yes. Well, you have to commit to. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 we're probably going to appeal. All right. Those appeal that you filed. Charlotte, and now I need the prosecutors to work with Charlotte, the probation officer, to work out probation specifications with the conditions I just explained. 150 days in county jail, restitution, fines. Oh, and also uh, statutory DNA and cost order as well. That, that's statutory. So you have to fill out the probation specifications. Now I'm going to get somebody to help you do that. We'll get, we'll get that done in the standards. Your Honor, Your Honor, if I may, in light of the notice of appeal, we would ask that you would suspend the jail sentence in light of the in standard filing of the notice of appeal. Did I do what? Suspend the jail sentence in light of the notice of filing of appeal. That would be respectfully denied. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Yes, if, if it can be stated in light of our notice of appeal. No. I'm not saying, no, no, no. The wheels of justice turn slowly, and sometimes the hammer of justice has to fall, and it's falling right here, right now. I'm not saying this. This happens right here, right now. Okay. 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 Right. Defendants are mandated for custody sheriff. Court is adjourned. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. And I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. What's up, YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this midweek Wednesday. I'm doing real good myself. Um, look. <laughs> All I can say right now is, Jesse, don't even try it. Don't even try it. You, in no way, shape, or form, can represent this brother right here and what the rest of that organization brought to the table for our rights and freedoms in the you know in this country. Don't even try it. And uh, this brother right here was a Black Panther. Okay, see, I'm tired of this twisted organization trying to blur the lines with us as a people and our struggles. Okay, now obviously, apparently, brother, you know, Jesse got caught up in some bullshit that was basically probably orchestrated by those that he worked for, which is the, you know, ABCD community. Okay. <laughs> And things didn't go well as was expected. You know, when he put on the hoax or whatever happened between him and uh, a couple of, uh, I guess, Nigerians that was supposed to had, you know, beat him up while he was on his way out two or three o'clock in the morning to go get something to eat. I think it was Subway, as a matter of fact. And uh, he was supposed to have been accosted and uh, jumped on and mistreated and every damn thing else. You understand? Now. Nah, 
you know, uh, he got caught in the mix. You understand what I'm saying? They found out it was all a hoax. It was a lie that it was concocted. But I think, you know, uh, this was done and orchestrated by the ABCD community. All right. For some kind of political reasons of some such uh, to gain ground, you know, and more rights or whatever, or to make it seem like uh, woe is me for the ABCD community. That's what I think. That's my own personal opinion. And now, you know, Mr. Smullett here feels the need to make a, <laughs> make a statement, a bold statement. You know, I'm throwing my fist up and every damn thing else. And you understand, it's all about us as a people. No, no, we're, we're divided right here. You understand what I'm saying? You on this side, we on this side. See? And obviously, he felt the need to make it that he, you know, uh, make the statement that he's not suicidal. Okay? Pretty much sounding like Jeffrey Epstein. Okay? We know what happened to him. Because Jeffrey Epstein was uh, mixed up in some very, very twisted thing with some um, so-called powerful people. Okay? They had a lot of dirty secrets and they felt like it, well, when Jeffrey Epstein got caught, he was going to give them up. Okay? That's pretty much the same thing right here with uh, Jesse Smellett. Alright? So he felt the need to make the statement, hey, look, I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. Well, why would you feel like you need to say that? Maybe it's because you know that some things about some people that set you up to do this shit, now you taking the fall and they afraid that um, you gonna snitch and rat them out and they'll be coming for you. You understand? So now you talking about you're not suicidal. But in a way, you are suicidal. Spiritually, you are suicidal simply because of the shit that you're doing as a man that you're not supposed to be doing. Spiritually? Yeah, you suicidal. Because the most high gonna fuck you up for this bullshit right here okay but that's a story for another show <laughs> but uh yeah i'm just tired of the uh representation of civil rights you know bringing like the, the black power fist you know of the you know reminiscent of the days of the black panthers you know when we were straight up fighting for equal rights and freedoms all right don't blur the lines you know, we got Taraji and uh, this uh, Taraji P. Henson and his sister, you know, doing the same thing, uh, comparing him to Emmett Till. Check this out. Journey Smollett, Smollett, excuse me, um, Taraji P. Henson speaks out following Jesse Smollett's sentencing, okay? <laughs> Listen to this right here. Uh, over the weekend, family and friends of Empire Star... Jesse Smollett spoke out in support of their loved one demanding his freedom from jail and maintaining his innocence. A previous, uh, previously reported by The Root on March 10th, Jesse Smollett was sentenced to 150 days in Cook County Jail on Chicago, well in Chicago, 30 months of felony uh, probation with the travel restrictions uh, and ordered to pay $120,000 in restitution to the city of Chicago and $25,000 fine, okay? Uh, since then, his official Instagram account has been taken over by his family who has shared posts with updates on how their brother's fi uh, faring and the overwhelming message of Free Jesse. Okay, listen to this shit, man. You know, I mean, come on now. You know, this shit, you ain't no Martin Luther King, dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just because you got caught up in some twisted shit. You are not no Martin Luther King, and they ain't got no business even, you know, like, hyping you up like this, okay? But it goes on to say here, Smollett's sister, Journey, who recently starred in a critically acclaimed HBO series Lovecraft Country, uh, spoke out in defense of her brother, writing online, Black Americans are incarcerated in state prisons at nearly five times the rate of white Americans. Uh, Jesse is innocent and you don't have to believe in his innocence to believe 
he should be free. All right. Smallest Empire star Taraji P. Henson also spoke out on the sentencing, adding her support for the star and invoking Emmett Till. Okay, now see, this is disrespect as far as I'm concerned. Emmett Till? No, cuz. Mm mm. Don't even try it. Now, to continue, it says here I am not here to debate you on his innocence, but we can agree that the punishment does not fit the crime. Henson began in her, well, yeah, began in her post. She continued, uh, let me see here. Um, Emmett Till was brutally beat, ultimately murdered because of a lie. And none of the people involved with this, this with his demise spent one day in jail, even after Carolyn Bryant admitted that her claims were false. No one was hurt or killed during Jesse's ordeal. He has already lost everything, everything. To me, as an artist, not able to create that in itself is punishment enough. He can't get a job. Uh, no one in Hollywood will hire him. And again, as an artist who loves to create, that is prison. My prayers is that, uh, well, my prayer is that he is free and put on house arrest and probation. Because in this case, that was seen fair. Please free Jesse. Okay. <laughs> Additionally, in Newsweek um, notes um, on Sunday, support well supporters of Smollett also took the steps to Cook County Jail to demand his freedom. Nah, cause it ain't even like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this 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 right here does not fare in any way, shape, or form to me. Comparing it with Emmett Till. Okay, yeah, all that other stuff you said, what happened to Emmett Till with that tramp, old ass tramp who on death row in the eyes of the most high. She on death row for lying and getting that man killed like that. A young fella, you know, killed like that. Yeah, it, it that uh, that's in some kind of way resonates in unfairness because nobody was brought to justice about it. But yeah, the most high gonna bring that. But in this particular situation, no, nah, you can't compare it. It can't be compared as far as I'm concerned. You know, they going too far with this. You know, Jesse, you know, brought this on himself. You know, uh, he got caught up in some shit that he orchestrated. He let somebody stand him up to do, you know, and the shit went south. And here it is. But some tell me he'll adapt where he's at. So he ain't got to worry. Why y'all so worried about freedom? Shit. <laughs> oh, boy, I'll tell you the madness. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.